Hello everybody, today I'm going to share with you this remote controlled Triac dimmer. Now I was contacted by this company right here and they asked me if I could take a look at their product. So here it is. Personally, I really like these dimmers that you can plug into an outlet and then plug in a strand of lights. I've made many of them to use with my multiple strands of lights that I have in my collection. So seeing a pre-made version like this and the fact that it has a remote control instead of you having to go and turn the dial on it itself is pretty cool. So I'm really excited to take a look at this thing. So on the front of the packaging, we can see it is 800 watts is the maximum capacity and everything listed on here is about LED light strings and you can even see here they pictured some filament LED bulbs in this particular string right there. So there's some information on the front and that's exactly what it looks like. And we have information on the side and more on the bottom. Just your basic information there. So let's go ahead and open it up. Inside, we are greeted with some instructions here. So I'll hold them here. If you'd like to read them, I'll read them as well. But if you'd like to, just go ahead and pause the video. And let's go ahead and take a look at the item itself. Here it is. It is quite heavy, but that is to be expected for such an item like this. It's going to be probably producing quite an amount of heat. Of course, it's all the you know typical information that you would need for something like this. It isn't grounded on this end. However, on the regular plug-in end, we do have a ground connector, so I'm assuming the case here is grounded. It would have been nice if this was also grounded, but there isn't a nub here at the end, so technically, you could just go like that. But, of course, you should have it grounded if it is a grounded set of lights. You do have two mounting um, brackets here so that you can mount it on the wall or inside of a box outside. You also have an antenna here for the remote which is sitting right in the bottom here. So let's go ahead and take it out. And we have our typical on and off of course and some other buttons here which I'll explain more when I demonstrate the uh, dimmer here in a little bit. It takes two AAA batteries, which I do have. So let me go ahead and put some batteries in this and find something to test this with. Most of the strands in my collection are like this one right here, this nice vintage C7 incandescent set. So that's what we're going to use for demonstrating the remote uh, for this dimmer. But we also take a look at how well it'll function with some LED bulbs later in the video. So let's go ahead and start off with the remote itself. So we can, of course, turn the lights on and off. And there's a little blue LED there at the top to indicate that the signal has been sent. So we'll go ahead and turn it back on. We have some controls here, so we can dim it down. If you hold the button down, you can see it's slowly dimming. And we can, of course, make it brighter or hit the button in the middle to bring it to full brightness right away. Now we also have speed control here, up, or up and down, and that's for some of these modes down here below. So let's go ahead and do mode one, which is just a standard flashing mode, and you can make it faster, or you can slow it down. We have mode two, which is a three-stage flashing that you can see here. Of course, again, you can make it faster or slower. Number three is kind of I guess you could call it a strobe, something like that. Number four is a two-stage flashing, excuse me. So you can see it is half brightness and then about full. And then we have five, which dims and brightens from 50 to 100 and then 100 to 50 percent. And we have number six, which is uh, slowly flashing, so it will slowly brighten and dim. Number seven is a multi-level slowly flashing, and you can see it kind of uh, slowly comes up and down in stages. And then number eight is from 100% to 0%. Let's go ahead and put it back to 100, and we'll dim it down, because after all it, it is a dimmer. But down here below we have some presets. So we have 100. Oh, I think it's still on a, 
on one of the settings there, so you can still have a mode and then brighten it up and down. But um, we have it set to 100% right now. And of course we have 70, 50, which is a difference. There we go. It's just kind of hard to tell, I guess. And then 25%, which is a very nice dim glow. Now, of course, here at the bottom, we have some timer settings. So you can have it stay on for an hour, two hours, four hours, or six hours, and then it'll automatically turn itself off. So a whole bunch of different features on this particular remote. So here we have an LED filament bulb, and it's one of these right here. So you have an example of what this specifically is. I don't have an LED strand with me at the moment, so we'll go ahead and use this particular bulb because on the packaging they show some LED filament bulbs. Let's go ahead and put it to 100% brightness by turning it on. I also would like to note that it's incredibly important to pull out the antenna so that you get a better range from it. I forgot to do that and uh, sometimes the remote wouldn't work, but once I did this, it works perfectly. So remember to pull out the antenna so you get better reception. Let's go ahead and set it to 70%, 50%, and 25%. Now it doesn't look that different on camera, but you can tell that it's definitely, you know, different brightnesses there. We can set it to 100% again. Oh, I think that was 6 hour, 4 hour two hour and one hour. I do like the fact that it flashes and it might have did that with the incandescent ones but because they're incandescent you didn't really see it maybe. But uh, since it flashes that's a nice indicator that the timer is um, currently set. So right 100% brightness. We'll quickly quickly go through these modes again. So we have our flashing here. And this is number two, number three, number four, number five, it's slowly brightening there, number six, again it's slowly doing it, it's just hard to tell, number seven, you can see how it kind of stages up and down, and then number eight, which goes from nothing to um, full brightness there, and then down again. Of course we can set it back to 100%, and dim it ourselves with the custom dimming buttons here on the remote. So it definitely works really well and we can get it down all the way as dim as it is able to go and you can tell there is a slight flicker like it said on the box. Um, unfortunately the camera doesn't really show it but maybe you can see it on my hand and the surrounding area the little bit of flickering when the light is down so low with these LED bulbs. I really do hope you enjoyed this video of this remote control dimmer. It's a really cool product and I'm definitely going to use it here in our apartment with the strand of lights that I have hanging up. Anyway, it did work well with the filament LED bulb and the incandescents as well. Overall, it's a pretty good product and I'm quite happy with it. Once again, I really do hope you enjoyed and also please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.